Hello students, welcome to the tutorial on units and conversion. In this tutorial, I'm going to look at the question I left you guys with in the previous video. Hope you had time to go through it. Now with that in mind, let's get on to the question and see what they want us to find. So the question reads, the human brain is located in the upper portion of the head with a volume that would be approximated by a cube L equals to 20 centimeters on a side. Brain cells consisting of 10% neurons and 90% clear vary in size with dimensions ranging from a few microns to a meter or so. Taking D to be equal to 10 microns as typical dimension and consider a cell to be a cube with each side having that length. Estimate the number of brain cells in the human brain. So this type of question will have a lot of information that will not be helpful in how we work out this question, but just details that we have to, maybe just for our information. But then we have to be able to identify what is helpful in working out this problem and what is not. Now let's go to the question, but now paying attention to the key details that we need to work out the question. So keep in mind, what we want to find with this question or what the question is asking us to calculate is an estimate of the number of brain cells. Now there are a number of ways we can determine the number of brain cells, but the method we're going to use here is the fact that the question keeps on talking about an estimation of the volume of the brain and also the volume of the cell. So the brain is made up of cells. The brain is made up of cells and those are the brain cells. So what happens is that you have one brain cell on top of the other, on top of the other, just like that. Now, when we get all the brain cells that are present in the brain, that is what will give us the volume of the entire brain. Now, assuming there are no spaces and everything inside that brain is basically just brain cells. Okay, now what the question is giving us are two things, a way to determine the volume of a brain cell. So a brain cell and also a way to determine the volume of the entire brain. Now, notice that to make the volume of the entire brain, we have to add or combine all the small cells or the brain cells which make up that brain. Now, of course, here we're assuming that each, each brain cell is a cube, just as the question is, 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 uh, is pointing out. And also the brain cell, the brain itself, we're assuming that it is also a cube. This kind of makes it easy for us to determine the volume of, of each as in the brain cell and the brain itself. Now, since we know to say we have to add the volume of each and every cell inside the brain for us to get the volume of the entire brain, it means that if we got the ratio of the volume of the entire brain to the volume of each individual cell or one cell, what we get is going to be the total number of the total number of cells in the brain. This comes from the fact that if we wanted to get the volume of the brain, we would have to add the volume of each and every brain cell that is present. So we would have to add the volume of each and every brain cell that was present up to let's say V cell, let's say number N. And you see that since the volume of each cell is the same, it's a cube, it would mean that to get the volume of the brain, you would just have to multiply n, the number of brain cells, by the volume of one brain cell. This is what will give us the volume of the entire brain cell, not the entire brain cell, the volume of the entire brain. Meaning, since the question now wants us to get the number of cells, we can just divide both sides by the volume of a cell and we get VB, the volume of the brain, divided by the volume of an individual cell to be the expression that gives us the number of brain cells, brain cells present in that volume. So all we have to do now is just to determine the volume of the brain and the volume of each cell. Now, this has been made easy for us because the assumption which has been made here is that both the brain and the cell can be approximated, their volumes can be approximated in terms of the cube. So all we have to do is determine the volume of those cubes. So for the brain, let's go back to the question. What they're saying is the human brain is located in the upper portion of the head with a volume that can be approximated as a cube. And then the dimensions of the cube 
a given one size to be L is equals to 20 centimeters. So this kind of makes it easy. A cube has all the sides equal. So if one side has been given as 20 centimeters, this, of course, you can write it in meters and say this is 0 0.2 meters. So we can say the volume of the brain will be equal to 0 0.2 times 0 0.2 times 0 0.2. So this will just be equal to basically uh, what I'm using here is L to the power 3. So if I multiply this, I'll end up with 0 0.008 meter cubic as the volume of, of the brain. Now, what else are they saying? Well, if we continue the question, they're saying brain cells consist of 10% neurons and 90% cranium, uh, vary in size with dimensions ranging from a few microns. Now, notice that the percentages which give the composition of a brain cell, this is just the data to us. It doesn't help us to work out the question. Okay, so, but the next sentence on the other hand, this is very helpful in what are they saying? Taking D to be equal to 10 microns as a typical dimension, consider a cell to be a cube with each side having that length. Now, which length are they talking about? That value D, which was given earlier on. So we're saying, they or they're saying, they want us to consider the brain cell to be a cube with each side having that length, meaning the length is the D equals to 10 microns. So of course, microns, that means micrometer. And in this case, of course, yeah, that's a micrometer we're dealing with since that's length. So it means that D is equal to 10 micrometer. So that's the dimension of each side of the brain cell. And this, the brain cell is approximated as, as a cube as well. So we can just say this is D to the power three or D by itself three times. So of course, I want to use meters in each case. So I'll convert this to, to meters as well. So of course, the relationship is 10 to the power negative three. So this will basically be, you can use the methods we've used to convert, but of course here you know to say, all you have to do, it's up to you which method you want to use. But for a change, let me use the negative power. So in every one micrometer, what I have is 10 to the power negative six meters. So this is of course how I'll use it if I'm using the negative power. If I wanted to use the positive power, I would have said in every one meter, I have 10 to the power six micrometers. Of course, this is the same as, but it's up to you which one you want to use. In this case, I've gone for that one. Okay, so of course, if we simplify this, the micro or with the micro, implying that D will now be 10 by 10 to the power negative six, but now in meters. So when it comes to the volume of a single, the volume of a single cell, a brain cell, it's going to be the 10, this volume is, in this case, it's D to the power three. So it's going to be that 10, by 10 to the power minus six, but raised to the power three. So this will be the volume of a brain cell. Now we know the volume of a brain cell. So the volume of a brain cell, we have it here. And the volume of the entire brain, we found it earlier on. Now we can determine the number of cells present in the brain, in the brain using the expression we showed earlier on. Okay. How does it work? Well, the number of brain cells will be equal to the volume of the entire brain over the volume of a single brain cell. So from there, we see that the number, so I can say the number of brain cells will be equal to the volume of the entire brain. We saw that it was 0 0.008. Was even if you were to have the units here, those two cancel out. Since I made sure that the volume of the brain was given in meter cubic, and the volume of a single cell was also in meter cubic. Okay, so the volume of a cell, this was 10 to the power 10 times 10 to the power minus 6, 
but raised to the power three. And of course, this will be meter cubic. Meter cubic and meter cubic will cancel out. This will come out as 8.00 by 10 to the power 4 cells. Or we can say brain cells. So this is the number of brain cells that will be present in that volume of, of a brain. Okay, so I hope you guys were able to follow through this. It's a, it was a short video, so I hope you found it helpful. So yeah, if you've got any questions, leave them in the, in the comment section below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. This was your tutor.